Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. Welcome to another unboxing on the Dice Tower. Today we're taking a look at Castles of Mad King Ludwig, the Royal Collector's Edition. Which is a gigantic box. I believe it's the same size box as the Suburbia one. Now, I did not get the oversized tiles because, honestly, I don't know why anyone would get them. This game is already massive. Why do you need huge tiles? You don't even have room to put those on the table. I'm sure this is going to be a real fun one to sort out, but let's see what's inside. Pop, 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 pop. All right. Product catalog. Yeah. All right. Rule book. Okay. I can live with that. I don't know what these are. There's the dice tower. All right. Here is the... Ooh. Now this board looks really nice. Has... I, I think... I'm very impressed with, oh, oh my word, oh my word. Okay, we'll come back to that in a second. There's actually two boards here. But it looks like you can place, oh, the, they're a double-sided, dual-layer board. Well, that's insanity. But here you put the different pieces that are up for auction, I suppose. Or maybe it's for an expansion, not sure. Some start player piece, I'm sure. Oh my, uh, there's a piece of tape over here. Well, there went the castle. What are these? They're monstrosities of plastic. And this. And what's this? Looks like the uh, Emerald City or something. I have no idea what this is. Wait, this is on top of stuff. Ah, when people use tape to close these things on the side. All right. All right, we got cards here. And this, this looks like a miniature golf course currently. I don't hate these, though. These hold all the different hallways and things for the castle. That I'm cool with. Let's take a look at these cards, though. For each of your rooms. Very clear cards. Good quality cards. I like that. And I like these card holders. And there's two more decks of cards. We'll come back to that. Here's where all the tiles get punched out into. Some game trays. Not this game tray one. bunch of little tokens here. Does this have palaces of Mad King Ludwig in it too? Because I see these swans and they were a part of... Ooh. Oh. Oh, I love these little coins though. Those are really nice. I like little metal coins. And I really love these swans. Oh. They're... Are these magnetic? Or... Why do they... You know what they... they the little metal thing on the bottom of them is the same as the little metal that's in the bottom of the uh, subway game they made. So those all fit in there. We'll put the rest in later. Poker chips with some nice heft to them. I like that. This is expansion stuff with some of the tiles punched out already. And I'm going to imagine when I move these, I'm going to see tile... Tile, tile. Ooh, this is pretty heavy. Tile, tile, tile. Lots of tiles. These are all the rooms. Look at all these tiles. And then if you do the one that's where the tiles are much bigger, 100% bigger, 200% bigger, however big, much bigger they are. Well, you know what? I also like that these tiles are falling out as I'm opening this. That's a very good sign. Wow, lots of cool things. I'm assuming it shows you somewhere how to put everything back in. Is it on the side? No. Is it in the rule book? Let's take a look here. 
The collector's edition has the base game as well as several expansions. Okay, so they show you here. As for the Moats expansion, which you should probably play with, the Swans expansion, the Secret Passages, and the Towers expansion. I'm assuming the Towers expansion is new because I don't remember playing that before. These all look really cool. Wow, what a neat setup. I wonder how complex it is to play with everything in the game. But the rules aren't that long. So, yeah, this actually looks a little bit more manageable than the Suburbia one. All right, cool. Well, that's a lot of cool stuff. That is an unboxing of the Castle Mad King Ludwig, the Collector's Edition, or the me whatever it's called, the Super Mega Lucky, the Royal Collector's Edition. Anyway, until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching the Dice Tower.